Hey guys, this is Chris from Empire Bricks and welcome to yet another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we're having a look at set 75140, the Resistance Troop Transporter. It was released last year in 2016. It comes with 646 pieces, 4 minifigures and it retails for about 65 euros. Um, and let me start off guys, this is an amazing set. This is a lego building masterclass this is a must-have if you have just gotten into lego star wars then get this set if you want a millennium falcon can't afford it get this set if you have every lego star wars set instead of uh, not this one get this set um, in short you should get this set and i'll explain you why but first let's have a look at the minifigures that come with this um, and that is actually immediately my only downside for this set is that there is only four minifigures I, I would have had you know expected five i would have wanted six but we get only four um so let's start off uh, with a with general leia or general organa she is called princess leia on the box i think um so yeah she she looks pretty neat uh, this is the vest that she wears in the movie uh the force awakens so that's pretty recognizable it's just it's not that special there's not even a print on the legs although she doesn't have really you know exciting pants on in the movie but still it you know could have been a little bit better and she comes with this little blaster next up is admiral akbar i'm really happy to have him i didn't have any mon Cala minifigures and this one is the the newest and he looks great also he has his you know standard vest kind of cozy vest and there's this really really small insignia it's it's almost impossible to see but there's it's really detailed it's so small and still it's there so that's cool and he does have printing on his legs um some simple printing on the back no double-sided face of course he comes to this small blaster and this empty cup and now that i have um reviewed a couple of sets i own a couple of sets you might have noticed it, but this cup is kind of a thing. It's also in set 75055, the Star Destroyer. There's also this small cup that comes with it. I think the um, the Home One uh, set also has Admiral Akbar and this cup. So if you have any idea why they do that, please let me know. But uh, it's kind of funny. Um, oh, I didn't show you, but uh, Leia also has a double-sided face. So she has this smirk kind of face and this more serious kind of face i like the serious one a little bit more she doesn't smirk that much in the movie actually she looks kind of serious most of the time so those are the first two next up is a, a resistance trooper and they have these really really cool helmets so this this part actually moves you can flip it up and then there is this yellow visor that's attached to the helmet uh, and this part is not, I'm not sure how that would work in real life, but um, it looks really neat, at least. Um, although the this clip comes off a little bit easy, but uh, yeah, it's, it looks great. They come with these medium-sized blasters, and they are in gunmetal gray, which is one of the you know million small positive things about the set. They didn't have to do that, but they did. It's just a new color, it just looks a little bit better. And he has this uh, Rebel Insignia on the front, no printing on the legs, and some basic printing on the back. Then there's another one, another Resistance Trooper. Uh, same helmet, a little bit of a different face. Uh, both the Troopers don't have a double-sided face, by the way. Um, they have these uh, two stripes on, on the helmet. Different jacket, still no printing on the legs. And more of a strap kind of bands structure on the back and another gunmetal gray gun so uh, medium blaster that is uh, no stud shooters that's great um, but just four minifigures I would have loved maybe one first order stormtrooper or maybe a C-3PO with a red arm or maybe Han Solo or Chewbacca maybe Finn, there are just so many options that you could have given with this set. And then there is these four. So that's kind of, that, that's the downside. 
the minifigure selection. So we're going to put these to the side for a moment and have a look at this set. Um, and like I said, this is a a Lego building masterclass. It's just an amazing build. It's full of different techniques and different styles and stuff that you can learn from. I mean, look at it. There's just so much going on. There's this greebling over here that, you know, they didn't have to do, but they did. There's these really, you know, all these antennas and guns and, you know, clips. And then there's this stuff that goes sideways. And on the back, there's this round piece that's sideways. And then this is on the side. These are angled. There's so much going on with this set that it's just, it's just amazing. But I'll go over it in a, in a moment. Um, yeah, so this is the set. It's pretty big if you look at it. Um, it just, it looks amazing. The colors are great. There's a lot of stuff going on, but there's also a lot of functionality. So first off, this is of course the ship that uh, Leia lands uh, with after the Battle of Takodana and she comes out of this ship. Um, so it's, the, the, this front piece opens like this and it's sort of like in a movie, you know, you could have her come out. Um, it's, it's that scene. Um, also, just, just another great thing. This one uh, clear yellow piece, which makes for like a landing light. It didn't have to do that, but they did. One piece makes all the difference for this set in so many places. So that's the front door, but you can actually open it up completely to have a look at the inside. And if we have a look, and then you see there's two seats. So those are over here. You can the seats, some minifigs over there. There's actually a lot of side room over here because of the, the round piece on the back. So that's hollow. So their arms and stuff, they have plenty of room over there. Um, let's see if I can get a little bit more light over here. Yeah. So that's where two of the minifigs can go, but there's just so much room inside. There's four minifigs with this set and you can at least fit eight of them inside. There's a lot of detail. So like these vents over here, uh, or maybe something else, but a lot of greebling. Um, two more, what could be seats. There's these orange clips that can hold the guns. There's actually even more room uh, for storage. There, it's a little bit low to put minifigures, but it could be crates or stuff like that. There's um, some computer panels over, over here and on the other side over, over there. Um, so it, it's, it's a large, it's a large vehicle inside. That's just, that's just great. Um, then there is this cockpit on the side. It, it looks really great. It has kind of a millennium Falcon kind of look to it. Uh, or uh, maybe that's just me, but that this whole ship reminds me of the millennium Falcon in some way. Um, but as you can notice, it's there is no room on the side, so you can open this thing really easily, but they found a mechanism. It's this wheel on the side. You can turn it, and then this cockpit opens. It's a really, really neat design. It's, um, I mean, this one, it, it's not because it didn't have to. You really have to because this cockpit doesn't open without it, but still, it's, it's, you don't see it. I mean, this could be anything else. It's really neatly done. Um, and then here you could put any of the figures but the good thing is that his helmet actually fits in this you know space over here so they can keep their helmets on and then lean backwards and then it would fit in there um, and you can close it up again so that's great um, this side on the left it doesn't open up it's just a um, yeah it's a gun kind of thing so this should be the the cannon of the ship um, but this doesn't actually fire but if you have a good look over here. There's these two um, missiles over here. You can activate by turning it around and you see this red brick. There are two ends of the missiles are still sticking out and you can shoot it like that and then it comes out. So they're hardly there, which is kind of unique. Most of the sets you can see the back of these missiles and uh, it's, this is just great. It's completely inside of the build and that's just great. So this is the, the gun that you know these missiles are supposed to come out of. 
huge part of greebling and creating, you know, structure and stuff like that. It just looks amazing. Antennas and a lot of stuff going on. You turn it around. Even that is, you know, great. There's this, this round piece. Um, it's hard to explain, but the way that this is attached is just genius. Um, it's one of the many things that, you know, teaches you how, how to build Lego ships. And this is just great. So there's two engines. There's one over here and one on the other side. And they both they have this kind of structure around it, which makes it like a exhaust kind of unit over here and it's on both sides. There's these, uh, they move a little bit. I'm not sure what they are, but you know, they could be like for like balancing or um, steering or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's the back of it. It looks, you know, for an angle that you are not supposed to look at all the time. I mean, the front is obviously the, where stuff happens, um, the back is still pretty good. And then there is this the last point, um, stickers. There are, um, I've heard reviews that they say there are 17 stickers because they're numbered one to 17, but some of them actually have two the same stickers. So in total, there are 20 stickers on this set. And at first I was kind of, you know, wary about that and um, I, don't, I don't like stickers. So 20 stickers is a lot, but I mean, wow, these stickers are really forgiving. Um, and again, it's it's not it's not the easiest build, of course, but it teaches you so much. And there are so much different stickers and applied in so many different ways that you just learn so much about how to do that and how to apply the stickers to different kind of surfaces, round and you know square and flat and curved and so many ways that I think... For this one single time, the stickers are actually a a plus. They're they're a plus. The only kind of hard sticker is this one because this is actually three stickers. So there's there's this piece over here. There is the this piece over there, and then there's this overlapping piece. And those are they have to be perfect or they will come off after time. But um, twenty stickers and. I'm happy with how I applied every single one of them and I'm not good at applying stickers. So that says a lot, uh, you know, don't be scared of the stickers. This is just um, another pro for the, for this set. So that's a look at the functionality and, and the looks of the ship. Um, I'm really happy that I got this set. It looks just, just amazing. And in many ways, uh, because I, I don't have Millennium Falcon, but I have seen so many reviews of Millennium Falcons and so many... Um, uh, movies and pictures of it, the of the Lego version, of course, that I think I am in a position to say that this is the the poor man's uh, Millennium Falcon. I mean, the the, the irregular um, the shapes of it, the, the 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 cockpit on the side, you know, the kind of homey large inside, which gives you the idea that. You know, people actually do stuff in there. It's not just a cockpit. It's it's a room and it has, you know, seats and stuff like that. Gives you the feel of a Millennium Falcon. So if you don't have the Millennium Falcon or can't afford it, please get this set and you will not regret it. This is just a great set. Um, it, it, it retails for 65 euros. I got this for 50% off because it's being discontinued as of this moment. So... I got it for a little under 30 or a little over 30. Um, so, I mean, that's just a great price for like 600 pieces, four minifigs. That's amazing. So try to get it now um, and you will not re regret it or try to get it from eBay or Bricklink or anything that you can get it, you know, without box or anything so that the price is lower. I can really, really recommend this set. So um, just to sum it up, the biggest pro is basically everything, but I would like to say that this is a Lego building masterclass just in one set. Uh, this set has it all, except for the one con, <laughs> and that is that uh, the mini minifigure selection could have been better, but um, it's still, there are figures that you really want to have. You have two troopers, which is cool, Admiral Akbar, which you don't get in that many sets, so that's cool, and Leia is, you know, kind of uh, a must-have if you buy a Force Awakens set, then she is kind of essential. So they're good minifigs. There's just not enough of them. 
So that was the review, guys. I really hope you liked it. It was kind of long. Sorry for that, but there, I'm, I'm just really happy with the set. I really want you to buy it. Um, so please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be doing more reviews, mocks, and stuff in the future. Um, so stay tuned and see you at the next video.